To draw your mug of hot chocolate, start with your paper going portrait in front of you. In the middle of your paper, we're gonna start our mug with an oval for the opening of the mug. So starting not directly in the center of the paper, I'm gonna move over to the side a little bit and I'm gonna go up, over, and down. Then I'm going to draw two lines that come down, just like this. It's okay if they're not perfectly straight. Next, I'm gonna go back to where I started those lines and I'm gonna curve down, over, and up to finish the mouth. And at the bottom, I'm gonna do that same curved line, down, over, and up. Inside my mug, I'm going to draw a second curved line, up, over, and down. And this is where all my hot chocolate is. Inside my hot chocolate, I could add um, some marshmallows if I wanted. Notice that I made a kind of rounded square. So I'm gonna add a couple of marshmallows floating. I can even show one behind another if I don't draw the whole thing. So those two kind of overlap each other. I'm gonna add some steam lines that go up. They're slightly wavy lines that show the hot steam coming out. And on the side of my mug, I'm gonna do my handle. So to do your handle, make sure you're not, it's not too small. Over, down, and touch, kind of like a big ear. And then repeat that inside, over, down, and touch for my handle. Now I'm gonna put my mug on a saucer. Now you're not gonna see the back part of this little plate because the mug is covering it up. So start on the side of your mug near the bottom. Go over towards the side of your paper, curve down under your mug, Go past your mug and come back up and touch. Wherever that touches is where you wanna stop. It might touch on your mug or it might touch on your handle like mine. So now I have my mug, my saucer, and now I need to add in my ground line. I'm gonna make sure my ground line is above my handle. So I'm gonna start actually on the side that the handle's on and I'm gonna draw my line over until I hit my mug. When I hit my mug, I have to pick up my marker and pretend draw across to the other side. Now that I'm on the other side of my mug, I can put my marker back down and finish my ground line to the side. Now in this case, my ground line is dividing a table from the wall. Your next job is to design your mug, saucer, table, and wall with patterns. Patterns are things that repeat themselves. So on mine, I'm going to add on my mug, I'm going to add some curved lines. I'm gonna have a striped pattern. And maybe I can even add a shape pattern. A shape pattern is when you repeat a shape. So on mine, I'm deciding to repeat some circles I would like your pattern not to be the same as my pattern. I would like you to come up with your own pattern for your mug. Then come up with something for your saucer. What kind of pattern or design can you do on your saucer? I'm gonna give my saucer a rim and then I'm going to give it um, some flowers. I'm gonna do a repeated pattern of some flowers. Remember, boys and girls, come up with your own pattern design. It doesn't need to match mine. I wanna see what your ideas are. After you've designed your mug and saucer, don't forget to do a pattern on your wall and your table. Then carefully add color.